Welcome. Welcome everyone to Mitad del Mundo, the middle of the world. We are in Mitad del Mundo, which is a little town just north of Quito, maybe, I don't know, like 10, 10 kilometers or so north of Quito. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly how far north, but it is a town that is right on the equator, the actual equator. And we're here in this like park, Parque Mitad del Mundo. There's a big monument there that we saw. And it's a very nice, nice day, sunny. You can see the mountains in the distance. And today we're going to explore Mitad del Mundo. Because honestly, how often are we gonna be at the equator? Not very often. So come along. Before we do that, I just wanna say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. So we've come here to Mitad del Mundo, and we're here in this beautiful park, right here next to the big, big monument to the, uh, to the equator, to the middle of the world. There's lots of people here, lots of people hanging out, taking pictures. And uh, this area, Mitad del Mundo, at least this like park area here, is a major tourist attraction. There's lots of tourists that come through here, not just locally, not just from other parts of South America, but like all over the world too. I imagine there's a lot of people from the United States, like me, coming here. Even there, it says right there, Pinchicha es turismo, right? Pinchicha, that's the uh, province that we're in here, that Quito is in, and that Mitad del Mundo is in. And you can see around, I mean, look, it's really beautiful out in the distance, right? All these mountains, the clouds over the tops of the mountains. It's really, really beautiful out here. So, why did we come here? Well, we came here, one, because, like I said, how often are we gonna be at the equator, you know? We're here in Ecuador, we're here in Quito. It's a very short bus ride to get up here, so we figured, let's come up and check it out. But, in addition to that, I wanna walk around the little, like, touristy area here, but also, there's a place that I wanna see that I read about on Google Maps um, it looks looks very very interesting so first let's go walk around the little uh, the area down here and see what's here inside this park and we'll talk a little bit more about what we're gonna do later in the video little map here of Plaza Jose Marti which I guess is that's what this is called I didn't know that was what this was called but there's like the monument and there's a place where you can get water Plaza de Cacao Coco Square, Plaza de los Pajaros, Bird Square, Pyramid and Llamas. I don't know that we want to go see all these things. Look, here, here's one of the things that we, uh, oh, there's a sculpture. It's a cool sculpture over here. I don't know who this is. We're going to find out. I'm guessing it's uh, Jose Marti. Is it? I don't know. It doesn't say. Dapper looking gentleman anyway, but look, you want to walk around. Now one thing that I have found out from uh, from like some of the research that I've done about this place is because it is a tourist attraction, there's a lot of like uh, tourist trap things around here. And uh, I want to see some interesting things and I want to try to avoid some tourist trappy kinds of things, right? Like for example, one of the things that I have uh, read is that even though there's this like big monument here and there's like a line, like a yellow line on the ground that's supposed to be the equator, um, I've read that it actually is not the equator. So what are we going to do? Well, I guess we're going to have to go search for the real equator. And uh, I already have a few leads on that. So let's do that. So you can see the yellow line along the ground 
here. And apparently there's this like egg balancing thing where they say that like here, because it's on the equator, you can balance an egg like on the, on its end. And there's a little spot where like people will try to do it, take pictures. But I have heard that that is not true, that it's kind of fake. And uh, looking around this place, it's very nice and it looks very nice. And I think we could enjoy ourselves here for sure. There's nice restaurants and cafes and shops and stuff. But I also know, I know how these things work. And uh, it gives me the feeling that a lot of these things about like, hey, look, here's the equator. And here's where you can balance an egg on its end. That might not exactly be true. But like I said, got a lead. Got a lead on a place we can go to see the real equator and maybe learn some real science about the real equator. So uh, let's look around here a little bit more and then we'll head out and try and find that place. So there's a lot of little shops around here. There's a restaurant right here, Ecuadorian restaurant. Souvenir shops. This, this whole area is decently sized, it's pretty big. There's a lot of stuff to do here. It's $5 to get in. And uh, once you're in, there's a couple of museums. And there's a lot of these like little cafes and gift shops, things around selling, I don't know, stuff, stuff you can bring back with you. It's pretty cool. Now, one of the museums that we want to go to is the Museum of Cerveza. There's a beer museum in here, guys. We're gonna go to the beer museum. There's some sculptures here, some busts of important people, scientists mostly, I think. And here's one right here who we may recognize, Pedro Vicente Maldonado. And this is the guy who was born in Rio Bamba. And uh, man, this guy lived the life. Look, if you uh, wanna know about this guy, check out our video from Rio Bamba about the three plazas of Rio Bamba, because one of them is named after this guy, Pedro Vicente Maldonado. He was a very important figure, a scientist. Um, yeah, very cool guy, Pedro Vicente Maldonado. Who else do they have here? Antonio de Uloa. Now, okay, I'm going to be really honest. They have a lot of busts here, of a lot of people on the way up to the monument. I'm probably not going to know any of them. Except I did know Pedro Vicente Maldonado. Jorge Juan... Uh, Juan Santan, Santa Silla. Couple. This guy just has one name. Like Prince or Madonna. It's pretty cool. Anyway, there, there's a, look, there's a bunch of other guys here. And I, I'm not going to know any of them, but... Pedro Vicente Maldonado. I know that guy. I'm guessing these are all like important scientists. Scientists who are important to studying the equator. Things like that. Because that's Pedro Vicente Maldonado. It's exactly who that is. And like I said, look in the description for the link to that other video where we talk about him and his life. Really interesting, honestly. We have to leave. We have to leave the, uh, the park. Um, we're gonna come back, but we have to leave because I've been talking to um, a person who, who uh, operates a museum around here that we're gonna go visit. And I think we've explored the park enough and now it's time, I actually got a message from him. So we're gonna go visit this guy and we'll talk more about what we're gonna see on the way. All right, so we're headed along the road here just around the corner, up here. I think there's like a little alley. We go down the alley and the guy's house, Patricio, is like right there. And uh, the museum is like in his house, which is cool. It's very, uh, like very entrepreneurial. You happen to have a house that's literally right on the zero point on the equator. You make it into a museum, super cool. And uh, 
He did tell me that that other museum. The other museum in question is the Intinyan Solar Museum, which is like right around the corner from Punto Cero. Now this place, it seems like uh, they have a lot of scientific quote unquote experiments. Uh, and they claim to be right on the equator. You can see uh, a sign that they have that says here, latitude, zero degrees, zero minutes, zero seconds. But here's the thing. Beyond seconds as a unit of measurement for latitude, there is uh, fractions of a second. So when you look on your phone uh, GPS, it only reads degrees, minutes, and seconds. But you could read zero, 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 as in zero degrees, zero uh, minutes, and zero seconds on your phone and think you're actually right on the equator when you're not because you're a fraction of a uh, second, right, in latitude away from the equator. And that's how they get people with this place because basically if you look on your phone, it will tell you you're right at the zero, zero. But if you use a professional GPS device that has fractions of a second um, in latitude, you will see that you are not right on the equator at this museum. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a scam. It's fake. So uh, maybe the reviews that we read about the other museum being fake are actually true. It did seem a lot more tourist trappy, that other one, than this one did. So uh, we're almost here. Let's check it out. Okay, we've arrived at the museum, the uh, Punto Cero, with uh, exactly on the equator with uh, Patricio. Quieres, quieres diga, or quieres decir hola, sí? Hola mundo, hola Gary. This is Patricio. This is the owner of the museum, and you can see around here is a museum. Uh, Vives aquí? See, there's a museum here where he lives, and um, that museum that was that we went past, that was like around the corner, that's a fake museum. That's not the real, the real actual zero zero equator point. This is it. We're right here. Oh, see. See? So, so because because we're here right at the zero point, the the sun always tells the the time right here and that way is to the north by the way we're looking north here south this way and uh you can see that it is exactly let's just double check here right and we can see that it's exactly the right time yeah it's pretty cool Oh, okay. Right. So in, in September, the sun would come and, and. Equinox. Oh, the equinox, right. In the equinox, the sun would rise, rise over there, see? And come over this way and would set over there. The light, the perpendicular light, and the here and the here, the shadow, in two minutes. This is the equinox. And the 20, 21st September, 23 March. Oh, okay. The year and the, here the On the two days of the, of the equinox, that's where the sun would rise, right? Along here, along the blue line, and straight over this way. Continue in the sun in the October, November, and December. The position here in the, the sun in the south. The, the, the summer solstice in the hemisphere south, and the six months the clear, 
there's a very shiny Argentina, Australia. Oh, okay. But the opposite in the United States, right. the, the Europe is very cold. Right, right. So this in hemisphere, in the Ecuador, the equator line, the two equinox. Right. March, September. So we can track we can track the day, the date, based on the angle of the sun here along all these lines that he has so the equinox here but going this way to like the 21st of December the winter solstice and then this way 21st of June real equator inside this is the last 10 meters for real equator oh real equator inside this moment in the hemisphere south okay inside the equator the divide the world and two and <laughs> i the see two. i see the north and the right the left and the right. okay so yeah. we are we are now standing yeah. about uh what Please. one two three four five yeah. meters five meters ten, or so? meters. ten meters ten meters we're exactly. standing ten meters away from the equator yeah. the equator is actually right inside yeah. Yeah. there the actual equator yeah example in phones in the in, in phones in the only the, the sea uh -huh. the zero 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 is the three zero but the three zeros is the the six, 64 meters right the the zero 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 in the 32 north 32 south but the four zeros in the precision and they come the exactly the real equator inside okay so we're gonna go see yeah. the real equator the real equator inside right yeah. here the yeah. actual yeah. real equator we can yeah. stand on the south yeah. side yeah. we can stand yeah. on the north yeah. side this is the equator line. Okay, this here the it is. Four, and the divide, and the here, and the two hemisphere. This is north, this is south, this okay. is east, and west. The All right, equator. so this is it. Zero, 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 we are zero. On the, we're on the south side of the equator, and Patricio is on the north side of the equator. The and now we can switch. Side. We can come over here on the north right. side. This so here we are. We're, we're on the north side of the equator. This is the, my the picture in this area. This is the storage monument and he has the right. zero, zero, seven, eight seconds. Okay, this see? Is one second, the meaning the 32 meters. 249 meters. South. 60 right. centimeter, the distance, the, the storage monument right. and the equator line. So that's, that's the monument where we were before in the park and it is it's point seven eight, right? Seven so two hundred and forty nine meters, meters south, south of the equator. This the other is museum and the same yeah. This is like where the fake museum is somewhere the around here. Line. This one, this one. Yeah, okay. So this is the one that we walked past. That's the the fake one. Zero zero three and eight. Okay. It's one hundred and twenty one meters south, the and then this is the actual. Street. The equator. Right. You mean the equator here, north, south, and they continue in this place, this half. So there it is. There it is. It runs right through here. And if we look on the GPS, in the right? Yes, in the zero, 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 and one. Zero, zero, zero. Right, because we're just six north. Zero, six, we're like just here north. The, the four zeros here, the six zeros. Zero, 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 the precision. Yeah, see? So the, when you look on the GPS, we're actually right here. Yeah. We're in the real spot. Very cool. It says the one GPS out. This is not the equator line. Nothing. Oh, okay. So this picture, the there's one GPS on one side of the equator and one south, on the other. North. South and north. The line is between. The line is in between. So the, the equator line is yeah, muy pequeño, right? Yeah, Very small. So there really has no width, no, no width. the equator, right? <laughs> the equator has yeah. no width, yeah. right? Yeah. So even, even if we stand like this, okay? Look at my feet, right? One, uh, one foot on one side of the equator and one foot on the other side of the equator. Very cool. How often, I mean, look, how often are we going to get to do something like this, right? We've been traveling around South America. We've been to a bunch of different countries. We came here to Ecuador. We came to Quito. We had to come up here because, like, how, how many times are we going to be able to get to stand on either side of the equator like this, right? It's very cool. So there's a picture here of Cayambe, right? Another mountain in, in Ecuador, right? In Ecuador, see? In, in Ecuador on the equator. The only mountain on the equator. And what we were seeing before, I, I got it wrong out here when we were looking at this. 
this is this is really shows what date it is it's like a calendar so this is not a sundial out here this is a solar calendar and you can see exactly from where the sun is coming over right you can tell what day it is uh, based on when the sun moves over because we're right here at the equator and if you actually were to look out towards Cayambe Puede ver Cayambe de aquí sí so we can see, yeah, we can see Cayambe from, from here. So like here's the, here's the, uh, the town, right? There's the monument. And Cayambe is, está aquí? Aquí. Oh, okay, yeah. So from the monument, you can see Cayambe right here, okay? And you can actually look and see where the sun will rise. And on different, different times of the year, the sun will rise in a different place, either to the left, of Cayambe or directly over or to the right, depending on what uh, what month it is, right? What day? Right. So there it is. That's that's like, uh, can we see Cayambe outside? Yeah, can you see? Yeah. So this is like the third super famous mountain. When we were in Rio Bamba, we saw Chimborazo. Uh-huh. So we saw Chimborazo when we were in Rio Bamba. And then down here in Quito, we went up to Pinchicha, and now we're, we can see Cayambe, the only uh, mountain that's actually right on the equator. Okay, so we just found out that this is, on this poster, this is where the house is. This is where we are right now. But over here, on top of this mountain here, just outside the town, there's a little, like a stick, like a pike on top, okay? And that is this and basically on that site on top of the mountain on top of that hill is the first sundial like in the world right in the in todo el mundo yeah the first sundial in the whole world made built here by uh, uh, an indigenous civilization and the equinox and the elevation of the sun oh, okay and it was built here and you can see if you go up there and stand right there it's Zero, zero, zero GPS, it's right on the equator. So they built it on, right on the equator, and they were able to tell, uh, like a sol use it like a solar calendar. Catequilla right? ruins. The Catequilla ruins. And they use it like a solar calendar, just like this one out here. This is like a replica. But it works the same way as, uh, as this one does, because we're right here on the equator, which is pretty cool. So we can take a look around the museum, just this little spot in here, but there's a lot of really cool information, photos of people who've been here, famous people, who do we got? We got Bill Clinton right there, former president of the United States, we have Hugo Chavez, who else? Who else do we recognize here? Miley Cyrus, right there, very cool. Don King, oh man, yeah, Don King here. Oh, yeah, Julio Iglesias. The scientific discovery and remember the lolly, the sheep, the clone. Sheep. Sheep, oveja. Sí, sí. Sheep, the clonation. Oh, this is the guy? Yeah, in Scotland. Okay, so this is the guy that cloned Dolly the sheep back in like the 90s, I want to say it was. That's interesting. Lots of other celebrities. Gloria Stefan. Oh, Gloria Stefan. Yeah, Gloria Stefan there. Cool. The Miss Universe 2004. The Miss Universe from 2004. Cool. This is the Hugo Chavez. Yeah, Hugo Chavez we had. This is the, is it the interesting the German president and the, remember in the 1989? Yeah. The, the Berlin, the world. Right. Is the main. The, the oh, German okay. The president of. The Germany, uh, este or oeste? No, uh, oh, el, el primero presidente. And yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is like the first president of United Germany after the Berlin Wall fell. Cool. So, it's a popular place Castro, Cuba. to come visit. Oh, eso es. Castro, Cuba. Castro, Cuba. Cuba president. No, no, Fidel, no, it's Fidel. It's, oh, it, uh, El Hermano, see, sí, see. Sí. So that's Fidel Castro's brother, the current. Is it President or no? No. Yeah. Antes? Antes. 
I don't know. I don't know Cuban history very well, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, that's Castro's brother. So there's been a lot of famous people who've come here to the equator um, to see it, and uh, we came here too. Super glad. Super glad actually that we came. This place is really cool. If um, if you do come here to Mitad del Mundo, if you come to Quito. You can get up here, like, it's pretty easy. You can take an Uber if you want to. I actually took a bus, and it was super easy to take a bus um, from from Quito, from, like, one of the northern terminals um, at the northern end, like, um, a little past where the metro ends. But if you come up here, definitely come to uh, Patricio's museum here, uh, the Punto Cero. Punto Cero. Don't go to the fake one. Come here to the real one, at Punto Cero, okay. So right out there is the actual, that hill, that mountain that we saw, that has the original solar calendar on top. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the little, um, you can see the, like the, the spike on top, the pole on top, and there's the spot. So the line from the equator continues that way, straight past the, uh, the fake museum, and on to the real one. Pretty cool. Okay, so we came back to the Monument Park um, with uh, with Patricio actually, because I think he works here also, like in a shop or something here. And uh, we're gonna go back in, and we're gonna meet up with him at the Museum of Beer, El Museo de Cerveza, the beer museum that we wanted to go to. Um, but we haven't had a chance to go to yet because we had to go up and meet him up at his museum. So anyway, next time I see you, we will be back, back in the Monument Park and we will be uh, enjoying the beautiful Museum of Beer and Museo de Cerveza. All right, we found the Museo de Cerveza, the Museum of Beer. And let me tell you, just in time because I really want to have a beer. So let's go in and check it out. There's a monk. A monk out here drinking beer. That's a good sign. No, 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 por favor, por favor, está bien. No es un video serio. Not a serious video. None of our videos are serious. History of the of Cerveza in Ecuador, 1566. 1566, foundation of La Cervecería San Francisco in Quito, Ecuador. So, like we said, when the Spanish show up somewhere, they build a church, but apparently they also start making beer. 1882, Cerveceria La Iral in Quito. 1887, Compañía de Cervezas Nacionales, the National Cerveceria in Guayaquil. 1890 and 1900, Cervecerías en la Imperial y la Victoria in Quito. Muchos cervecerías, many, 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 many cervecerías, many breweries. Very cool. There's a little info about fermentation. Cooling process. The process of ervor, bo boiling, I guess. Recirculation and filtration and maceration. Well, look. There are processes for making beer. More important, there's a process for ordering and drinking beer, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So we got ourselves a beer. It was uh, very good, we drank it all. And uh, afterwards, we actually met back up with Patricio, which was pretty cool. Got a chance to chat with him for a little bit before we, uh, before we headed out. If you do come to um, to Mitad del Mundo, make sure you visit Patricio over at Punto Cero and get yourself um, a, a good a good picture of yourself uh, on the equator. And uh, you'll probably get a picture with Patricio as well. En español? Uh, 
español, inglés, no sé, no sé. Uh, we're here in La Cervecería, La Cervecería Sela, the Cer Cerveza Museum. We had the beer, it was delicious, and we met Christian, Cristian. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos. Bueno, un saludo muy caluroso desde aquí, en mitad del mundo, el Museo de la Cerveza. Eh, mi nombre es Cristian Sela, soy de Sela Cerveza Artesanal. Una cervecería familiar que trabaja mi padre, mi hermano, trabajo yo. Eh, y les deseamos eh, un, una gran bienvenida que nos visiten al Museo de la Cerveza aquí en mitad del mundo. Tenemos muchos estilos de cervezas, muy ricos, todos deliciosos, de los cuales pueden venir y degustar. Perfecto. Bienvenido siempre al Ecuador y que tengan un lindo día. Perfecto, muchas gracias. So if you're ever here in mitad del mundo and you want to come to a nice like family-owned artisanal uh, brewery and meet a member of the family, you can come here and check it out. The beer was really good, by the way, also. It was very, very good. So I'm glad we came here. Well, all in all, I think that was pretty cool. I'm glad we came up here. We're standing here right by the road. It's a little loud. We're at the bus stop. We're going to catch the bus back. And um, you can actually you can get here by bus. We actually we took the uh, the metro right up to the northern end of Labrador, and then we took uh, like the BRT, the bus rapid transit from there up to uh, Terminal La Ofelia, and then from there you catch a bus that goes straight from that terminal all the way up here, and it stops like right by uh, Mitad del Mundo. So it's really easy to get to. Um, that whole thing you know ends up costing like a dollar basically to go and a dollar to come back. Or you could take an Uber, which would cost you like 20 bucks. Uh, but anyway, I think that was really good. I'm glad we came. And, um, yeah. I had a lot of fun. I had fun. I'm glad we went to the, uh, to the Punto Cero and saw the actual, actual equator. Um, and I'm glad we went and got a beer, too. And I uh, met Cristian at the Cerveceria. Cerveceria Serra. So, super cool. We'll catch the bus here, and we'll catch you in the next video.